hi everyone this is ravi gupta welcome to engineering adda so today i will be telling you how we can communicate with to microservices using the fake client there is another approach of rest template call and there is a similar kind of different approaches are also there like using the kafka we can also communicate with uh, this two microservices okay so i am just going to discuss about the fake client how we can use this fake client to communicate with the microservices okay so it's a way of microservice communication and it is a declarative http web client developed by the my netflix so creating an interface uh, we can use a, a, way, a fake client and then uh, we can communicate with the microservices so how we will do it i will uh, show you so i will be creating one or i would say two different microservices and uh, then how they communicate using the fake client i will show you those things here i am using the intellij idea for the ide and uh, here i will be creating two different microservices and then we'll see so you can go to the new and then project and uh, here it is a string and slicer is there because i am using the premium version of the intellij if it is uh, if you are not using the same you can go to the string and slicer online and from there you can uh, spring starter and from there you can just uh, create one spring project and then download it and then <coughs> it's a similar way how we are creating here in the intellij same way you can provide that effect and name and all and then you can download it so i'm just creating one microservices called user service okay and uh, yeah i will be needing this uh, web spring web starter dependency so you can say this user service is created here okay So I will just yeah you can see here we have created the user service. I will just update the server dot port uh, to run on the different port. I will make it nine zero nine zero. Okay and here I can create one controller class. Let's say user controller. and inside uh, that i will create three different method to get the user name address and the status of the user okay so this is a controller class okay so i will be annotating it with the rest controller and will also request will use the request mapping to uh, create our apis So here I'm just creating a method called git name. So here you can see it's uh, simply returning one. It will simply return one name. Let's say my name is Ravi. So I'm just simply returning it. This is a method. I will just uh, do it a get mapping and then will map it like name and uh, similar method will need to create for the address and the status of the user so i will just copy paste those things and then just rename it
let's say address is Delhi and the status is active so these things are uh, done okay I will just run this and then see if it is working fine or not so it is running on the port 9090 and I will try to access it and then see if it is working fine or not <coughs> sorry so once it is working fine uh, I can say uh, we'll create the another service okay it's a 9090 and then the URL was user and then we'll try to get the name so see it's coming okay uh, I can see the status as well it is active so the APIs are working fine okay the name and these things are working okay this is not a controller we can re rename it okay okay so it is fine so this is one uh, API this is one microservices uh, where uh, we have the detail of the user okay and uh, I will create one another microservices which is a fake client and using that uh, fake client microservice I will be just calling this API's okay so see how how I'm going to do that I will just create another microservice and then you will see those things so this is a fake service here I will be needing the web and apart from web I also will be needing the I will need this fake So those two things are required here. Okay, so it is coming up. Let it reload and then yeah. So here you can see it is created successfully. I will be creating one uh, one interface, and uh, there I'll just. Uh, create those uh, get mapping methods and using the first microservices I will call all the APIs here in the interface so see how we can do that so interface I will name it like fake interface or fake util so you can see it is uh, created okay I will annotate this interface with the fake client annotation so that it work like a fake client and then uh, we can also provide the value or anything that we needed and here we need to provide the URL which URL we want to access okay so the common URL here is user till user we have the common things okay so that will we need to provide here okay so that it uh, every time whenever we are trying to access uh, from this fake client service then we can access uh, the first API okay so that is why we are providing the URL here and uh, now I will be creating some uh, interface yes, uh, some abstract methods okay uh, so those methods uh, these are the methods that I need to create okay so I just copy it and then paste it here <coughs> okay so these methods are the inside the interface so it should be abstract method
so this uh, <coughs> these methods are created here and we'll con create one controller class inside the uh, fake service only and from there we'll call this uh, util methods okay so overall flow is like whenever we are calling from the fake controller it will come to the fake util and it will call the uh, call the methods of the microservice work like each time whenever we are trying to uh, get the call from fake service controller it will access the the microservice one apis so let's see how it is working So I have created it. It is like the request rest controller and the request mapping would be there. okay so here I will be creating those methods but with the different uh, mapping okay not the same mapping that uh, we did and we can also provide the different values as well not the same values okay so let's see so here you can see uh, we created some different mapping okay and also the get mapping is different not the same as what is in the service one and result also you can modify okay or uh, sorry result should be like we should be calling it using the util okay so here i will annotate uh, like here i will just auto wire the util fake util So using that uh, fake util object will just call the methods inside the fake util and that method will be uh, alternatively that metal method further call the APIs of the microservice one. So this is how it will work. okay and we are getting some error why it is okay bean component is not there so we can here we can create enable the here we can enable the fake client so now you can see it is working yeah so now I will uh, what I will do the first microservice is up and we can see the result here right you can see status is there I can also see the name so it is working right and now what I will do so now <coughs> now you can see we have created uh, the fake client okay and uh, the fake client is uh, uh, I we can run the fake client now the first service is up okay and uh, the first service is running properly that is what I showed you here we can see the name status we can also see so now when uh, the fake client is up so you can see the fake client is up on 8080 let me change the port and rerun it so that it will clear for us 9091 okay I will stop it and rerun it So you can see it is up on 9091. Okay.
and uh, what is the mapping so the mapping is fake service and then if you want to get the name that is f has name so you can see it is working right so the overall flow is like using the fake client we are just calling the fake util inside the fake util we have mapped the url of the user service one we are of the service one that is a user service and from there we are getting the uh, we have mapped the uh, methods inside the uh, controller of the service one and according to that we are just calling it so this is how it is working you can also check the status so it is working properly so thank you guys let me know if you have any doubt or let me know if you need any videos on a particular topics so let me know thanks thanks for your support guys